Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys stopping by today. It is a beautiful sunny day. It's a little chilly, uh, not really cold, just a little chilly. Uh, but we're gonna head out to the Muscadines today. And my plan is to go and write down what plants I need to swap out. I got a couple that are, or a few, that are over two years old, but out here two years, and uh, just don't want to grow. They just don't want to do anything. I'm going to replace them. And I had uh, a few that died. <laughs> so we're just going to do some replacing muscadines today. As you can see, everything is dormant in the vineyard right now. Uh, they're just looking beautiful. It won't be but another month, and we'll start doing all our pruning, which I really enjoy, but at the same time, I dread <laughs> because it's a lot of pruning. But uh, I think the whole family is going to get involved this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. Turn the radio on, get out here, prune the grapes. And this will be our first year being open for business this year, so we're really excited. Well, these five rows here were the first five that we put in. They're Isons and Supreme. Uh, they're a couple of years older than all these. So we've gotten these all straightened out. We've got these growing just like we want. No checking on these. We don't need to. They're all exactly the way we want. So we're going to start right here at our Black Beauties. We're going to be walking up and down our road just to see if there's anything we need to replace uh, dead or not growing as well as we'd like. We're going to walk in the middle of these rows first. Both of these are black beauty, so I don't sort of get mixed up where I'm at. But they're looking pretty good. We have a lot of growth uh, on these. We had a really, really good year this year. So they're looking pretty good right now. I'm coming up on one I'm not really happy with, but I think it will take off. It's got a, it's, it's about to here. It only needs to go to there. But like I say, this is two years of growing. It sh they should have been to the each to each end of the wire the first year. Uh, the second year, we should have had a lot of side growth and a few grapes. But this one's way behind. I'm, I'm going to hold on to this one, though. I think it'll take off this year. It's not too bad of a plant. All right, you can see how well this plant did. It did really, really well. Uh, for a two-year plant, it did fantastic. It just bushed out like we wanted. It's going to put on a lot of grapes this year. But the one beside, I mean, it grew all the way past the wire. It grew all the way to here, so we'll have to prune that. But we had one die right here, so we're going to put that down as one. Now we have these two row of Isons. Uh, I actually have one, two, three, four rows of Isons. So we're going to walk these four right here and sort of keep an eye. I think I'll walk down the middle of the two medium middle rows. I planted these Isons because they're self-fertile. They'll pollinate everything else around it. I also have another Isons over there. I have some uh, other self-fertiles scattered about, but uh, these four rows of Isons will really help pollinate the others. Well, this Ison plant has not done anything. There's the trunk. It's maybe grown three feet, if that, to the left, and maybe two to the right. In two years' time, it has not done anything very disappointing plant and i see some others down there that are the same way so we'll be getting rid of these guys all right the darlings on this side uh really really take a beating for the fact this is the last row that sits right along the edge of these woods right here it's 44 acres of timber cut uh just pines and thicket that another guy owns um, and it is chock full of deer they don't eat a lot of the grapes. We've had a few grapes this year. I was plucking off the little pollen uh, pods to keep the grapes from growing to get more growth out of my, my plants. But we did have some grapes on here. They really didn't touch the grapes. They like to go and nip at the tip of your vine, which stops the growth. They would come and eat every leaf off here. They wouldn't actually eat the vine. They would just eat all the leaves off. And they would really put a beating on this row. So this year I have a goal uh, <laughs> to put up some stuff to try to deter the deer this year. They really don't get in here with all the, the wires and all that stuff. They really don't come in and out of the rows. We've seen a few tracks in here, but nothing like this little road right here. They really come out here at night because they can get out here. 
nibble, 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 and dive back in the woods. All right, well, next we're headed to my favorite nursery <laughs> in Brooks, Georgia, Ison's Nursery. Go check them out, get you an online catalog. I talk about them all the time, especially during the growing season. Go check out Ison's Nursery, get you some muscadines. I have a ton of videos, show you how to grow them, show you how to put in the trellis, show you how to fertilize them, show you how to water them, irrigation. I got all those videos out, but I get my plants <laughs> and all the other stuff, all the other uh, muscadine supplies from Ison's Nursery. We are here. We're gonna check out these muscadines right here. See if we can find a some that are really, really vigorous and with some heavy growth on them. There's a nice Carlos. This, this Carlos is giant. That's what I'm looking for. Something with some vigorous, heavy duty growth. So I'm gonna take that one. That one. All right, well, we're gonna work our way down. I gotta go find the icing. I got one Black Beauty and two Carlos. I need to find the icing and the Darlene and we'll load them up and get out of here. Well, we loaded up, we got our plants. I just want to show you guys, they have so many muscadines to choose from. This just what's out here for sale out front. So lots in stock. All these are different varieties. All these are all the different varieties. There's your Pam. Uh, I can't see the tags, but they all have different tags on them showing what they are. Uh, just, just lots and lots of different. There's your Summit. Ice and Supreme as your Supreme. Lots and lots of grapes to choose from. Uh, also have lots of other stuff. Looks like they got uh, elderberries. I know over here they have blueberries and all sorts of stuff. All the greenhouses over there are full. They have lots of plants for sale. Give Ison's a call. Lots of pears and apple trees, cherry trees. Tons and tons of stuff for sale. Well, we're back and I just want to take a minute to show you guys what I'm looking for in a plant uh, when I buy a muscadine plant. I want some long growth coming out of that pot. I want to know that that vine took off last summer and it's very vigorous. <laughs> I want to know it's got some, some oomph to it. And that's what I like to, when I pick out my plant, I like to pick out my plants and just go through and pick out some really, really long ones that showed me that they want to grow. And these are the ones we want to plant. Hold on, I'll show you some more. This is an icing, and these icings always look, look good. I, they had a hundred of them out there, and I couldn't tell one from the other. They all look really, really good. Now this, Black Beaut this Black Beauty, it has a couple of really long vines coming out of the pot, but this main one right here is the one I was looking at. I mean, it's... It's six foot, so it grew six foot the first year. So that's what I'm looking for. Nice. One thing I noticed about the Darlene, uh, they seem to want to, and they uh, they seem to want a bush. They got little shoots running everywhere, and I noticed that when I bought them uh, a couple years ago, put them in. Every one of them was like that. So I went through all the Darlene and picked out the ones I thought had the longest runners on them. And this was one of them. They all were about this size here, which is, I don't know, maybe four foot. So I'm happy with that. The Darlene all looked like they were all trying to bush. It was really hard to decide what Darlene I wanted. But uh, I got a few of those and a couple of the Carlos, they're super long. We're gonna go out here and space them out, uh, put them where they need to go and start trying to put a few of them in the ground. All 
right, well, this is a little Carlos I think we talked about earlier in the video. It just didn't want to grow. It's got a pretty good trunk on it. It's been here two years, and compared to all the others, this thing just, it just did reach the top wire in two years. It never did split. It just wanted to keep bushing out, bushing out, and we would prune it close to, we would prune it to the trunk, and it just would not do what I wanted it to do. So this thing's coming out. We bought a new one. This, this lead vine is literally eight foot long. I just stood up, it's two foot higher than me. I'm six two. This is the type of vine we want, something that is very, it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of vigorous growth to it. I want something that, what we down here in the South call grows like kudzu. I want a good one. So we're gonna put this one in and see how it does. I like to break up my root ball, get them roots spread out just a little bit. All right, I'm hoping I get some good video of this. What I'm gonna do is any of this side growth, I wanna find my main trunk first. What I'm gonna use as my main trunk, which will be that eight foot uh, vine. Everything else I will cut off to keep my trunk clean. We'll cut everything off. And it doesn't hurt the plant because they're dormant right now. So like this one, that's a really long, nice side growth piece right there, but we're still gonna cut that off. That's a nice long one, we're gonna cut that one off. This is just an excellent vine. Now, all we have left is this long eight foot vine. That's it. And I'll show you what we'll do to that next. First, we'll take our blue X tubes and roll the inner piece up like that. Stick it into the outer piece. And when you buy your muscadines, ask about these blue X tubes. They'll help uh, to act sort of like a uh, greenhouse and also help keep rodents and stuff like that from aggravating your plants chewing up your plants and stuff then we'll just put it on the vine you'll want you a piece of string to go from the top wire to the bottom wire and we'll just zip tie it to that string. That'll keep the blue X from moving around. You can zip tie the, uh, the main trunk to the little uh, string as well, but keep an eye on it after the first year. I would cut it off if you don't forget. I mean, if you forget about it, it could choke your, your, your vine out. So you wanna cut it off after the first year once it starts grabbing hope to everything. Now we're at the top of the wire. This is where we wanna make our split so our, our, our vine will start growing down the wire. So you just take, some people go an inch out or up, some people go an inch below. I go an inch up, there's a little node right there. It'll branch, there's a node here, it'll branch. So you'll train it each way down the wire with these nodes right here come springtime. Well, we almost got them all. I planted uh, all but six, I think, six or seven. But uh, that's something that really needed to be done. I wanted to get those non-growing plants out of there and replace them with some better plants. And I think I found some good plants. Now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Ison's Nursery. I absolutely love Ison's. Uh, they've been helping me out for a long, long time for years and years, everything, fruit, berries, 
and nuts that we've planted out here has been from Ison's Nursery. Uh, and they've always done really, really well. Their customer service is great. I absolutely love them. They have a catalog out right now, the Ison's uh, catalog. You can go request it online on Ison's Nursery. Uh, it'll have a little spot there where you can request a catalog. Let them know Kenfolk Farm sent you guys. Go order some stuff too. I'll show you guys some of the things they have. Uh, they have all the muscadines and they have a description of all the muscadines that they have, whether they're fertile, self-fertile. Uh, uh, they have Big Red, Black Beauty, Janet, Pam, Sugar Gate, Supreme, but they're out of Supreme. She did tell me that today that they are completely sold out of the Supreme, so you will not be getting Supreme muscadines this year. Uh, a lot of other things they have is they have a muscadine chart, uh, developing the muscadine vine, a whole uh, instructional uh, chart of how to grow, fertilize, water. They also sell bunch grapes, raspberries, blueberries, uh, blackberries, which I bought 120 last year and they did fantastic. Uh, they really, really taken off. Uh, plum trees, apricots, crab apples, pears, cherries, figs, peaches, nectarines, uh, all the different nut uh, trees, pomegranates, mayhaw, persimmons, jujus, uh, kiwi, mulberry, asparagus. Uh, they sell <laughs> tons and tons of stuff. Go check this catalog is really fun to have. Also in the back, they have all kind of uh, drip irrigation diagrams for your drip irrigation, how to run it. They sell all the pieces. Uh, just a, a great nursery. I absolutely love them. And uh, they're not but about 20 minutes from us. If you guys are close to Brooks, Georgia, uh, it's worth the drive to go out there and just meet the folks at Ison's. They're super nice. All right, guys. Thanks again for checking out my video. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Thanks again. I love you guys to death, and we'll see you on the next one.